dear students you are welcome to my another class of plant taxonomy the title of today's class is plant nomenclature at the end of the class you will be knowing the principles rules recommendations of international code of nomenclature the importance of scientific names the concept of typification the rule of priority very effective and valid publication of names the names which has to be conserved and names which has to be rejected the contents of this video scientific versus common names binomial nomenclature icn salient features of the icn principles of icn typification kinds of types rule of priority limitation of the principle of priority then effective publication a valid publication of names author citation rejection of names plant nomenclature scientific naming of plants according to the rules of icn is known as plant nomenclature what do you mean by common names it is a name known to the general public or is based on any language other than that of botanical nomenclature the synonyms used for the common names are vernacular name colloquial name farmer's name country name etc then scientific names the scientific name pertains to the binomial name given to a particular species according to the rules of international code of nomenclature the synonyms used for the scientific names or binomial name binomial or latin name scientific names versus common names common names are not universal they vary in different languages many plants do not have common names two or more plants have the same name names are not methodical whereas the features of a scientific name they are universal throughout the world all known plants have scientific names plants have different scientific names names are methodical and named as per the rules of icn binomial nomenclature it was carl linnaeus who is called as the father of modern taxonomy formalized the binomial nomenclature as a modern system of naming organisms a binomial name is comprised of two parts that is the generic name that is the genus name and the specific name also called as specific epithet it is often in a latinized form the genus name begins with a capital letter whereas the specific epithet begins with a small letter the genus name and specific epithet are always underlined or italicized for example 
Zia means here Zia is the generic name and Mesh is the specific epithet. The common name is Mesh. Similarly, Allium Sipa, the common name is Orion. Allium is the generic name. Sipa is the specific epithet. ICN that is the International Code of Nomenclature for Algae, Fungi and Plants also called as Shenzhen Code. ICN is a set of rules and recommendations dealing with the formal botanical names that are given to the plants. It was formerly called as ICBN that is International Code for Botanical Nomenclature. The name was changed to ICN at the International Botanical Congress held at Melbourne in July 2011. The Shenzhen Code was adopted by the 19th International Botanical Congress held in Shenzhen, China in July 2017. The salient features of the ICN The code aims to provide a stable method of naming taxonomic groups avoiding rejecting the use of names that may cause error or ambiguity or throw science into confusion. The objective of these rules is to put the nomenclature of the past into order and to provide for that of the future. The principles form the basis of the system of nomenclature governed by this code. The detailed provisions are divided into rules which are set out in the form of articles and recommendations. Principles of ICN. There are six principles. The principle one, the nomenclature of algae, fungi and plants is independent of zoological and prokaryotic nomenclature. The principle two states that the application of names of a taxonomic group is determined by, by means of a nomenclatural type. The principle 3 states that the nomenclature of taxonomic group is based upon the priority of publication. The fourth principle, each taxonomic group with a particular circumscription, position and rank can bear only one correct name. The earliest is in accordance with the rules except in specified cases. The principle 5 scientific names of taxonomic groups are treated as Latin regardless of their derivation. The principle 6 states that the rules of nomenclature are retroactive unless expressly limited. The principle 2 that is the typification or type concept. It states that the application of names of taxa at the rank of family and below is determined by means of nomenclatural types. A nomenclatural type is a specimen or illustration to which the name of a taxon is permanently attached. Whether that name is correct name or a synonym. There are two distinct circumstances in which type designation is required. That is the first one at the time of describing a new taxon and the second one the designation of the type is required when 
for an existing name which does not have a type. Then kinds of types. The first one is the holotype. The a specimen or a illustration originally cited by the author in protolog. The second type is the isotype. It is the duplicate specimen of the holotype collected from same population by same person on same date with same field number. And the third type is called as a lectotype. The specimen selected from the original material serves as a type. When no holotype was designated or if the holotype is missing or destroyed. And the fifth one is the scene type. When more than one specimen cited by the author in the protolog without a designating a holotype is a scene type. Neotype specimen derived from a non-original collection selected as a type when original specimen is missing or destroyed. Paratype, the specimen cited in the protolog is other than the holotype, isotype or syntype. Then epitype, the specimen or illustration serves as an interpretive type when holotype Neotype, lectotype is ambiguous. Rule of priority, that is the principle four. The principle four states that each family or lower ranked taxon with a particular circumscription, position, and rank can bear only one correct name. For any taxon from family to genus inclusive, the correct name is the earliest legitimate name with the same rank. The principle of priority does not apply above the rank of a family. The rule of priority is applicable for validly published taxa beginning from 1st May 1753, the date when the species Plantarum of Linnaeus was published. So this is about the limitation of the principle of priority that is nomina conservanda. Conserved names are legitimate even though initially they may have been contrary to the rules of ACN. Here is a list of conserved family names. Conserved two columns. One is alternate name, that is the correct name, conserved name, even though these names are contrary to the rules of ICN, because these family names never end with ALES and these are not based on a type genus. Hence, these are illegitimate because of due to their wide usage, these names have been considered as conserved names. That means protected. So you, you can use both conserved names as well as the alternate names. So Ambulifere, APAC, correct name. Similarly, Pame, Arakesi, Areka is the type genus. Composite, Asteraceae, Aster is the type genus. Crucifere, then Brassicaceae, Brassica is the type genus. So Gattifere, Clusiaceae, Leguminose, Fabaceae, Faba, type genus. Labiate, Lamiaceae, Lamia, then Gramine, Poaceae, Poa, then uh, lastly, this is the subfamily. Papillonoidae, then the alternate name is Faboidae.
then effective publication of the names what are the conditions which are required for an effective publication of a name a new name a new type designation or other nomenclature must be effectively published the publication is effected by the distribution of the printed matter through sale or exchange or by gift to the general public or at least to the scientific institutions with generally accessible libraries publication is also effected by distribution on or after 1st january 2012 of an electronic material in a portable document format in an online publication with issn and isbn numbers the publication of electronically in portable format that is pdf format should comply with the pda archival standard the material should be placed in multiple trusted online digital repositories then non effective publication that means the publication which is not effective communication of a nomenclature novelties at a public meeting it is not effectively published then placing of names in collections or gardens open to the public issue of microfilm made from a manuscripts or type scripts publication on or after 1st january 1953 in a trade catalog or non scientific newspapers and on or after 1st january 1973 in seed exchange list does not constitute effective publication the publication on or after 1st january 1953 a thesis submitted to a university or other institute will not be considered as effective publication then valid publication so the valid publication it has to be effectively published it composed of only of letters of latin alphabets the name of a new taxon published on or after 1st january 2012 must be accompanied by latin or english description that is the diagnosis a new taxon published between 1st january 1935 and 31st december 2011 inclusive must be accompanied by a latin description the name with author citation is essential the autonyms are accepted as validly published names publishing nomenclatural novelties that is author should indicate the word novos or its abbreviation at the time of publication of new names author citation this refers to the valid name of the taxa accompanied by the author's name who published the name validly when a single author proposes a valid name the name of the author alone is accompanied and is abbreviated it is called as single author citation similarly after a name is published jointly by two authors both the authors should be cited and is called as double author citation and it has to be linked by using the word at or and
after the name is jointly published by more than two authors the citation should be restricted to the first author followed by an all or at all except in the original publication now rejection of names which are the names that has to be rejected the first one is illegitimate name the name which do not satisfy the rules of international code of nomenclature is a illegitimate name that has to be rejected then superfluous names the name which is given to a taxon when already some name is present the superfluous name must be rejected and another category of names is homonyms it is the same name given to other taxon and should be rejected similarly tautonyms has to be rejected it is the specific epithet which repeats exactly the generic name and must be rejected and it is not applicable for zoological nomenclature for example lycopersicon lycopersicon so the generic name and specific epithet are identical so another category that is the naked name nomina nudum the names which are published without any description and are rejected until published with a proper description Thank you.